Hello friends and welcome back. So in this video, I will talk about how we can add a custom capabilities to custom post types and taxonomies and how we can also add our custom taxonomies to manage the settings or allowing the some settings, uh, custom settings pages um, to the our custom at add, newly added a uh, custom role. Okay. And uh, how we can also, what are the other best practices we need to follow? Okay, so let's talk about first step by step. So let's first talk about how we can add a custom capabilities. Okay, so in the previous video, we have seen that um, the if we are not passing the custom capabilities, custom post types and custom taxonomies will inherit uh, capabilities of the default post uh, uh, post types ex uh, capabilities. So for example, this is the default post or post type, default post type. And whatever the capabilities are there, so same capabilities will be used by our custom post types and custom taxonomies too. Okay. So how we can, how we can add that. So for example, so there is a use case like, uh, it's not a, maybe a real, real life use case, but uh, just the thing is that, Get, uh, currently admin and also i have logged in with the uh, author role i can also can access uh, the movies and the person type post types okay i can i can at least add a new uh, but cannot add it because i'm uh, the user is the author but still i don't want to allow uh, this accessed movies and the uh, person post types to uh, editor role the author role contributor role i don't want to i want to add a custom role which only manage these two post types movies and the people or the person post types okay and only admin will have that access because ad we have to give access to the admin because admin have full access right but if we don't want to then we can we we cannot like we don't need to add it but at least uh admin should have or have all the access okay so what if like how we can do this one so since uh we uh we are not passing the custom capabilities uh so so this custom post types also uses the default uh, capabilities of this post. So that's why it's also like uh, all the custom post types will be accessed by the editor and the author and the contributor. Okay. So, um, okay. So now how we can do this one. So in the registered post type uh, function, if you go into documentation, um, there are two, uh, three um, arguments. One is capability type. So if you, read here the, the string to use to build the read edit and delete capabilities may be passed as an array to allow for alternative plurals when using this argument as a base to construct the capability to construct the capability means custom capabilities okay so either you can pass story or the stories uh, and default is the post so since the default is the post and that's why uh, if we do not pass the capability type with the custom uh, capabilities or the arguments it will take a post default and then it will construct the default uh, it will inherit the default uh, it will construct the default uh, post uh, capabilities and it will be used and assigned to the cap uh, custom post types and that's why the users uh, the roles who have access to the default post will also have access to our custom post type okay so and another argument is capabilities this add of capabilities for this post type so if you want capability type is used to as a base uh, to construct the capabilities but if you do not want to use and if you want to over add uh, custom capabilities that you can use but uh, in my opinion we we will simply use this capability type okay instead of passing the custom capabilities manually uh, to the capabilities because capability type uh, argument will use to construct the custom capabilities okay and there is another uh, argument is map meta cap whether we want to allow a default meta capability handling or not and definitely we need to because in the previous video we have seen this added post action uh, uh, meta capability will derive to the uh, primitive capabilities and based on that uh, based on the roles and the users uh, users role uh, further capabilities will be checked and those capabilities should have assigned to that roles so that the users just to check whether the, that user current user have access to that post or not right so we will pass this map meta cap to true by default it's a false but if if we are no, do not pass in the capability type here and it if it's default to post then by default this map meta cap will become a true okay so uh, here in the movie post type 
um, I have added it here already, but I have, let me just comment this out. Okay, so here we have we are passing movie. Since the uh, movie and the movies are um, um, like the plurals, so verb what if if you are passing a string, then uh, in, instead of the uh, instead of the add, if you are passing a string, then WordPress will add uh, s uh, to make it plural. Okay, and if the movie or the movies, but if there is a case like person and the people, persons will not be have a valid, valid uh, plural. So in, in that case, you can pass add a person and then people, okay, singular and the plural, okay. Um, so we are passing this. So if you go into the post here, uh, so this function will called register post type. So if you go here, WP post type object will be created based on these arguments. So if I'm going to set properties, okay, so in the set properties, um, it will check other properties, but let jump to the capabilities. So here, we haven't passed the capabilities argument, so which is empty, and it will check whether this map meta cap uh, argument is passed. If it's not passed and default is null, okay, then it will check whether this capability type, okay, this capability type movie um, is uh, uh, in the add a poster page, okay. If it's true, then it will set map meta cap true, but else it false. So since we have passed it now, then map meta cap will become a false okay and we have we have to pass this explicitly through if you want to use the map meta cap filter okay functions at else it won't so uh, here uh, this will be set to true okay and then uh, it called this function get post type capabilities okay so this function uh, so this function will take arguments and here it will check whether the capability type is array or not if it's not added then it will simply make make array and it will it will just append the as to make it a uh, plural okay and if it's an array uh, then it won't make it and it will use singular and the plural so first at the first index it will be a singular at a second index it's a plural okay and then it will simply list out whether singular and the plural based from the capability type okay and then here we can see this meta capabilities okay so singular base here is a movie and the plural base uh, it's a um, sorry singular is the movie and the plural base is the movies okay my way right so uh, into the post so this map capabilities will be uh, defined here so now it will map edit post to the edit underscore movie read underscore post to read underscore movie and delete post underscore delete because wordpress will wordpress do not know this custom capabilities okay so in the code base wordpress will use these capabilities edit post read post delete post just to check whether the current user have um, have access to that post edit access or the publish access or not okay so like uh, like already in the post.php file in the WP admin folder, we, are, we have checked the current user can edit post. Right? Now that code never going to change, right? Because the custom capabilities do not known by the WordPress core base. So this mapping will be used uh, to check against the, against the capabilities, okay? So that's why it's edit post. And this is the uh, uh, capabilities used in the code base, but in, in the database uh, against that, uh, these capabilities will be assigned or the created or checked against in the uh, capabilities assigned to the roles okay so all these capabilities like including the primitive edit post other post delete post all these capabilities will be uh, created uh, based on this a uh, base we have passed so uh, here they have used the plural base okay and this uh, primitive capabilities used within the map meta cap okay so if these capabilities are uh, if map meta cap is true then these capabilities will be also assigned okay or created and then it will uh, merge with this above default capabilities and if we have passed any other custom capabilities that we can also uh, 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 merge with those uh, default capabilities generated by uh, based on the uh, given basis okay and then the create post will simply map to the edit post okay so if so if someone checking with the current user can create a post then it will check whether that this edit post capability do have or not so edit post will become edit underscore movies for us for the movie post type okay and then 
it will simply call this post type meta capabilities so uh, this function definition is stored or return a list of post type meta caps for the map cap capability so this will use in the map meta cap functions for further okay um, so yeah so this way um, this uh, capability is generated so if i um, simply uh, capability type movie okay and if i go here so let me just remove this and uh, let me just comment it out a print underscore r and a get post type object okay and here i will pass simple movie okay and then it could die oh uh, okay so now if i refresh here so now if you can see into the cap okay so this cap edit post have edit movie read post have a read movie okay all these things so when the wordpress check for edit post and it will check for edit movie and this uh, capabilities custom capabilities will be mapped like this way okay and this cap property so if you go here into the wp post type object um once this capability uh, here in this uh, cap property all these capabilities uh, will be assigned and it will be simply unset the uh, custom capabilities which we have passed okay and it's also uh, change back this capability type to the singular okay um so this way uh this custom capability is assigned uh to movie post type okay now let's talk about the person or person post type here i am simply passing the capability type now person and the persons it's not a, a correct plural so i am passing person and the people okay once i passed and if i go here and simply change to uh person post type and refresh it here now you can see edit post to edit person and the plural become delete people or the published people okay so this way we have also created uh custom capabilities for the uh, uh person post type okay and similarly uh we can do for uh, let me just close these files uh for the genre taxonomy so here in the genre taxonomy if you go to the register taxonomy okay here you can see the capabilities so these are the capabilities are uh, used for the taxonomy manage terms edit terms delete terms and assign terms and this uh, text uh, capabilities are mapped to this manage categories manage uh, and then edit post okay so only this uh, manage categories uh, capability needs to be added to the roles where we want to provide the uh, categories uh, access to that role and then assign terms are uh, default to edit post so if user have access to if user have edit post ex, uh, capability then by default a uh, user can um, can assign the terms okay to the post okay so but now we want to create a different or custom so in the genre taxonomy i will simply uncomment this array i have already keep it um, so i have managing managing manage terms to manage genres then edit terms to edit genres then delete and then assign genres okay and similarly uh, for the career taxonomy i am doing same way okay uh, manage terms manage careers edit careers and everything okay so i have created a custom taxonomy here okay so now uh, we have created a custom taxonomy here okay so now what will happen so now i will simply uh, uncomment this out and then refresh it now you can see the movies and people post type access is gone right and in the in the another screen i have already logged in so if i go to the dashboard you can also like i i am logged in with the author role so author role do not have access okay so now we want that author should not have access to our movies and person post types but administrator also do not have now because we have added a custom capabilities we have to assign these custom capabilities to the roles as well where we want to like to to give access to the roles okay so how we can do this one um so now uh i will have already developed this functionality so i will just go through that to save our time so i have created a function called mlb add roles okay to add a roles and custom roles and to assign the custom capabilities to our administrator role okay so in this function i have created another function mlb get capabilities so list listing down all these capabilities manually what i have did is that uh, 
I have simply created empty array. Then go through the array of the post types. Okay. Uh, and then getting the post type object. Okay. And just checking whether this object, uh, it's an instance of WP post type class or not. And I will get the cap uh, post types uh, capabilities, all the capabilities. I will simply remove this uh, meta capabilities because this map, uh, meta capabilities are mapped with the primitive and we don't want to give this uh, uh, like uh, meta capabilities otherwise user will have access that okay so we uh, we don't want to do that so i am simply uh, unset all these capabilities okay i have also unset this create post because this is already mapped to the edit uh, movies or edit post okay to capability so i will simply unset it and then merging with the array so i'm you merging the array because uh, it in it's in a for loop so i we want to merge all the uh, custom capabilities of both post type movie and person okay so this way we are merging it and then i'm similar things i'm doing for the taxonomy so i'm getting the capability of the taxonomies here and merging it here and simply uh, there will be read capability multiple times for like read capability are there for the both post types so we don't we, we need the unique one so i'm just simply a uh, unique and uh and then it will run the capabilities here okay yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress